Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm going to show you the weekly top five, and I'm running solo today so we can get through these pretty quickly because I got some other things I want to work on and uh, get to show you in the coming year. So let's get through the top five. All right, so this is the Mil MI-12 V-12 Homer, biggest helicopter in the world, and I played with this uh, with Frantic the other day, and I will link to the video uh, above if you want to check it out where we flew this thing and dropped some tanks out of the air. It was pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. Jump in, jump, literally jump in. There we go. Yay. And uh, let's check out the back here. So we got a back end here. We can walk up. Where are the buttons for this thing? Are they way back here? I didn't open it, Frantic opened it. So let's open the bay doors. See how they open. All right, so they spread out like a lobster or something. Like a, I don't know, remind me of a crab or a lobster. And then the bottom comes down. Did the top go up? No, it was already up. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and... Okay, we got lights. Oh, there's the lights. That's cool. Uh, watch in, watch out. And doors. And they shut. Kind of bouncy. I think they shut too fast. I am on full physics, just to make sure that things work properly. Got a light here. And we have a cockpit. These are all on. I think you start the engine from over here. Yeah. Fuel pumps. Probably should turn this on first. Heaters, cabin light. All right, easy peasy. Co-pilot seat, pilot seat. Oh, this one's backwards. They always tell me the right seat is the pilot seat, but apparently in Russia, seat is on the left. All right, cool. All right, parking brake default on. I really need the parking brake. Let's see, throttles. Wait, do I have to actually push the throttle myself? Oh, it's not on the keyboard. Interesting, I don't like that. None of these are on the... Okay, well, let's... I don't know what I just did. Are we going to run into the garage? Oh, I killed that. Crap. So, let's go ahead and try again. We're going to throttle up. Don't... Maybe not. Don't throttle up. I'm turning when I throttle up. Okay, now do I want to do the clutch? Yes, we want to do the clutch. Oh, God. Let's go up before we break something. Okay, there we go. Interesting. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's off the ground. So, yay for me. Okay, so where's the land? I don't know. I was going to fly towards it, but we're just going to go ahead and try to go forward. Okay. Now, what's interesting about this, it does have this right here, rotor tilt. Now, do I want to do that? I mean, we're flying forward. All right, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna go in the water? Not yet. I feel like we're going faster once I did that. Okay, so rotor tilt, okay, it looks like, does it keep us going? Okay, so interesting, it, rotor tilt seems to really automatically kind of push it forward, which I don't think I've had that in another helicopter where you tilt the rotors and keep it going like this. So that's a cool feature. All right, so anyways, that is it for this helicopter. If you want to check out a fun video, Link is in the description and on the top there. Click that. Check out me and Frantic playing with this thing. And uh, we had a lot of fun. But yeah, this is it. This is by Kolobak. And you can uh, download it in the description below. Pretty cool. A lot of fun. Easy to fly. Don't know how I got off the ground though. But uh, we'll just pretend like I knew what I was doing. All right, next up, we have the Rio Azul Search and Rescue Center. And it is down here in the DLC. You do need the DLC to use this one. And uh, I had to turn this on because it didn't have the location marked. So when you build these add-ons, there's a checkbox when you place something and it says show on map. Very important uh, so people can find it. So this is over here and uh, let's go ahead and check it out. All right, here it is, the Azul Sar Desert Center. Also Rio in the top there. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. It looks really nice. And uh, we've got, I think these are helicopter bays. Not sure. Let's see. Maybe these are car bays? What do we turn on lights? Door one, door two, door three. There we go. Diesel might be for cars. So that looks nice. All right, let's keep going. Uh, we have this area here with some cacti. Uh, is this open? No, that's not a way to get in there. 
How'd I get in there? I hear a door. Oh, there's the door. Okay, uh, let's check out downstairs first. WC. These are bathrooms. Lots of pivots here. I'm not liking this. Uh, okay, let's see here. Little supply room, back door. There must be lighting, right? I just don't know where it's at. Lighting. Lighting? Oh, look, is that a wall? A rock climbing wall? That's cool. And more area back here with some servers. Very neat, very neat. Oh, look, there's a the lighting. Garage door. Okay, cool. Wait, that's lighting for that room. Where's the lighting for all the other rooms? Ah, I'm missing it here. Fan speed? Nice. Oh, and there's the camera. Where's the security room up top? Let's go up here. It's a bedroom. Bedroom. I'm guessing bedroom, right? Bedroom. Okay, well, not a security office up here. What? Is this maybe the security office? Oh, it is. Okay. Can I change cameras? I feel like I should be able to, right? One, two. I don't know what the camera numbers are, but yeah, you can change those. We have this guy. Doesn't turn on. Okay, cool. All right, let's go out here. Wasn't there like a landing space up top or something? So I'll have to go out the back door here. And check this out. Okay, ooh, this is kind of dangerous. That's really dangerous. What the heck? Okay. Um, we have a little area here. More cactus. Cacti. Excuse me. Solar panels. And... This area over here, which is, I guess, for helicopter landing, which I don't know if I would be able to do that, but yeah, I think it's for helicopter landing. And we've got lighting, heli spotlight, rollback hangar. Oh, okay. That's good for me. So it rolls back. Nice. All right, there we go. Now I can actually land. Well, sort of, maybe, possibly. All right, so that's it for the Rio Azul Search and Rescue Center by Kitten Air Force 3. And you can download this in the description below. Hey, look, there I am, looking very lost. All right, next up, we have the Red Arrow Steampunk Racing Train from Steam Speed, which I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a TV show or an anime. I don't know. But uh, this is by McSteve89. So uh, let's see if we can get it running. All right, looks pretty nice. Lots of paint blocks. Got the Red Arrow. Does it, is it missing? Is it supposed to have, like, red arrow all the way down? Or is it just supposed to cut off like that? Interesting. Okay, well, let's see if we can get inside and get it going. Okay, we have the cockpit here. Cockpit. Is that a cockpit? I don't know. Helm? What does the train have? I don't know. But, uh, let's see here. Are there lights that we can turn on? Lights. No, not that light. Cabin lights. Yes, that's what we want. So it says turn the dampener all the way up. Turn dampener all the way up. Damper. Turn damper. Why am I saying dampener? Dampener. Damper. Uh, let's see. Light the boiler. Easy peasy. Turn water e injection on. Water injection on. Oh, water injector. Can't read today. Make sure to feed the firebox with coal. Alright, how do you get in there? Oh, there we go. Uh... Oh, look, you can... I didn't realize this. I haven't played this, but you can, like, put a lot of coal in here. But you still have to, like, roll through them. I just want a shovel. Uh, da, 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 da. Click it. Click it, click it, click it, click it, click it, click it. All right. So we got that going on. Make sure to feed the boil. Once the steam pressure is up, you should be good to go. Just like that. Steam pressure. Boiler. Where's the pressure? There we go. So we need to get to, like nine I think is there brakes on oh there we go I have to turn off the brakes that wasn't in the instructions but there we go and it's really really fast wow okay cool so uh yeah does it overheat or is it cool 
That thing looks good. Oh, that looks a little hot. Is it going to blow up? I feel like it is. All right, so this has been the Red Arrow Steampunk Racing Train from Steam Speed by McSteve89. And it's really, really fast, like a red arrow, I guess. Yeah. Let's check out the next one. All right, so next up is the USS Jeanette 1879, and this is by JMAT. And as you can see, in full physics, we are slowly bouncing. Slowly bouncing. We're going to try to go low physics and see what happens. All right. That's much better. Okay, so let's check this out. Uh, this is a very detailed ship that Frantic just played with today. So if you want to check out that video, I will link it, of course, in the top. And you can check it out. But uh, are these actual ropes or are these pipes? I hope he's using pipes. I think they are. Uh, we still have not got a static... Right, is that a pipe or a rope? Looks like ropes on that one. So I think there's a mixture of ropes and pipes in here. Yeah, it looks like it. But we still haven't got a static tool from the devs, uh, a static rope tool. Don't know why that's a big deal. Simply let us draw lines from rope points and don't apply physics to them. Not a big deal. Years later, they still can implement static ropes so that people can do stuff like this and not have to jerk with XML pipes or worry about lagging with rope physics. But, yep, we don't have it. So, there you go. Write it down, and they'll get to it maybe in a couple years. All right, so what's up with this here? Make your way to the boiler engine room. Okay, making my way to the boiler engine room. Well, that's nice looking, isn't it? Okay. Uh, I don't know where the boiler engine room is, so we're just going to explore as we look for it. Okay, what is this? Raise prop will not function if ship is in motion. I don't think we want to raise a prop. Bathroom and head, okay. Um, nice little area here. Chart room, okay. That looks a little modern, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Guess you have to have something going on here. Let's see here. Um, all right, so let's go towards this direction. Perhaps the way down is by going through a tiny hole. Crew galley. All right. Um, cook's cabin for hold. Quartermaster. This is like all crew deck, I think. Yeah. Looks nice. Look, they all have like little flashlights and stuff. Cool. All right, let's... Wait, is that a way through? Is that a way through? If I can get through. There we go. And, oh, what do we find here? Four hold lights. That's important. Okay, there's a bed. How do I get down there? Oh, there's a door. Oh, okay, cool. Wow. Look at that. Nice, like, woodwork inside, huh? Okay, let's open this door. Because we can. Pantry. Pantry. Stoker's Quarters, Stoker's Quarters, which is really detailed. Okay. All right, let's go back now. Carpentry Machine Shop, okay. Tell me I'm not going to run to a dead end. Nope, I'm not in a dead end yet. Oh, goes right here. Boilers, yay! Woo, took a while to get here. Let's look back here real quick. Storeroom entry. We've got stuff back here. Armory locked. Brig and uh, supply room back there. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing moving. So it says start up, make your way to the boiler room, uh, open the boiler doors. Okay, open the boiler doors, open the boiler doors. Yep, got it. Key entitled a light boiler. Bump. Mm, bump. And Bump, and bump. Throttle is controlled using the helm next to the compound engine steering controllable using the helm on the top deck. Okay, so it's using the, you know, we want to go f full, or actually they'd do it up there, and then we'd say, okay, yeah, we're going, we're going full. Increase, decrease. Okay, cool. So all we need to do now 
Let's wait for these bad boys to heat up. Okay. Sounds like the steam turbines are kicking in. Oh, I hear propellers. So there we go. Wait, I can't turn from down here? Oh, that's not good. Let's cheat right up here. Okay. And let's uh, turn. All right, so here it is at night. It looks really, really nice. Love the silhouette, all the detail. Looks amazing. All right, so that's it for the USS Jeanette 1879 by JMAT. If you want to check this out, you can download it in the description below. And if you want to see this thing in action with a volcano, I think, uh, check out Frantic Maddie's video linked in the top right and uh let's get to the last one of the day all right so the last one for today is the ivan ivaka ivan ivaka and this is by blue located at the top of sawyer isles next to olsen bay so let's go ahead and teleport over there all right so i feel like we have to set the mood here so i've added some fog changed the time and added some snow we are in russia i guess i i don't know if we're in russia but Look at this. This is a city, and I'm in low physics. Let's go to high physics real quick. Okay, so now we're in high physics, and I'm walking around a pretty detailed city. And uh, it's got nice trees. These are apparently by Spanish castles. I don't know him, but Spanish castles made the trees. We've got some walls, and let's just jump around here. All right, guys, so I am jumping around here in high physics, and I think this is, in most part, because there's no moving parts. I think this is just a very nicely built static city. Uh, don't know if he used XML blocks, maybe kind of like stretch those out to use less blocks or something. I don't know, but uh, the physics frame rate is really good on this city. These are not ropes, these are pipes. That might be a rope, no, it might be a pipe. No, it might be a rope, that might be a rope. But for the most part, yeah. This is perfect for you guys that are doing uh, you know, role-playing combat. This looks like a little Russian city or whatever that you can battle in. Uh, I don't know if it's a Russia, but it sounds like a Russian name, right? Ivankiva? Ivankiva? Kvankvaka. I don't know. Kind of reminds me of the map that I don't remember by Call of Duty. Do you remember that map? Apartments, I think what it was called. Kind of reminds me of that. Can we get upstairs? Is it possible? Or do I have to cheat? I don't want to cheat. I want to go upstairs. Yay! Did not use stairs. Use blocks. Interesting. wonder if that helps with the frame rate. Never don't know the difference. But I'm going to go ahead and see if we can go all the way to the top of the building. And if we can, perhaps we can look out over the city through one of these windows. Or get to the top of the roof. I think this is going... Oh, look. It's got... Oh... Someone's been thinking about combat. There we go. I'm ready for Frantic to try to attack me. You could do like, I don't know, a little battle royale here. This would be pretty cool. Is this, is that the top floor? I think that was. Okay, so let's see if we can see the city. Wow, just looking out there, that looks pretty cool. Oops, I'm stuck here. Ah, look at that. Okay, can we look out another window? can't shoot down it. It's kind of hard. Can we jump in the window? There we go. So now I can... Uh-oh! Yeah, fell off. But, uh, yeah, so we've got apartments here. Apartments way over here. Some rubble. Look at that. Look, it got blasted. And then... Got a little st more structure over here. Wow. It's, it's bigger than I thought. Okay. Yeah, very much Call of Duty apartments, but like bigger. Call of Duty apartments was kind of like two rows. This is really wide. Okay, that looks like a factory, maybe? Again, good frame rate. Full physics. Bouncing around like a fool. No problem. So yeah, like a factory. 
All right, let's fly around and see if we can see something interesting from the top view. Oh, what about nighttime? Does it do something at night? Mm, no, I was hoping lights would come on at night or a few lights or fire or something. All right, so I've killed the snow, killed the fog, killed... What else I killed? The daylight or made daylight. And oh, look at that, that looks nice. Nice damage. Uh, but yeah, so you got the, the top right, we got the giant structure there. You got the building to the left. Can you get up on top here? No, it doesn't look like there's a way to get on top. You got some tanks here, some cargo, and these are probably the only pivots I've seen in the whole thing right here, which is cool. And we've got the building, the damaged building. Let's check that out. Oh yeah, look, it even goes through. That's nice detail. It's just not right there. It's like boom, 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 boom. Nice. Got a corner here destroyed lovely what a great build this would be perfect for like a little you know like an objective with a little tank battle and some infantry moving in to capture pretty cool it's like in a nice place so this has been the ivan ibaka by blue and you can download this and all of the builds in the description below so thanks for joining me and i will see you next time i've got new stuff coming up in 2023 and uh yeah let's let's just keep going and uh see what happens so thanks for watching the video, and I will see you next time.